Good evening. No, evening. Um, so I'm gonna do my mixed medium morsels uh, snack bag. Snack bag. Yeah, you know you know what it is. <laughs> I can't think of the words now. Snack bag book, something like that. Anyway, um, so I've cut this piece of sticker paper a bit smaller than an index card. This isn't the one I'm going to be using, but that one's drying over at the back. I've had to put some mixed media paper onto the back of it because of the brads that are sticking out on the back of it. But yeah, here we go. So what I want to do first is just put down a little bit of text just to make the background a bit interesting. Quite looking forward to working on this stick of paper actually. It should be quite fun. probably need quite a bit. Uh, I don't really like the way that has torn so I'll try and tear it a little bit straighter. Uh, it's still not straight but move that bit there. And a little bit there. And then I'm going to go over the top with this napkin, which is like the second layer of the napkin. So it's a bit more subtle. So in case you don't know, the theme for this one is triptych. Oh, we did triptychs at school. I can't remember what I did for mine. So long ago. gently outwards. Sorry, if you hear me breathing quite heavily in these videos, it's because when I concentrate sometimes I forget to breathe, so I lose my breath quite quickly. It's not that I've been doing any exercise, Poof, definitely not. Just forget to breathe. back with the next step whatever that might be because as usual I don't know okay so uh, had the idea to use a couple of my gorgeous stamps uh, I've just started sort of collecting them So, I'm thinking why not use them. Ooh, right, let's grab some ink. Let's just use the black sock. Hopefully the 
this is top nicely. Okay. Position that a bit better. Let's go for it again. I think the texture of the paper is affecting it a little bit, so we'll push down a bit harder. That's nice, okay. Okay, one more time. Nice and crisp image. Oh, sorry, my nail scratched a little bit. There we go. That's one little lady. Uh, let's have a look. What is the back in? Here it is. It's the first time I've used that one. Uh, let's see, who else shall we use? Ooh. She's quite cute. First time I've used this one too. And it doesn't matter if bits of them go into the next section and I cut it, just put it all together, I don't mind. The only thing I don't like is that we're always going to get that Santoro Gorgeous trademark when you stamp. using my stamps and everything but it's just annoying you know Last one. Let's think. Who do we want? Uh, get that one. Um, uh, Another new one for me, anyway. Not new. <laughs> Don't wanna... Yeah, let's put it out here. No. Stop this. Okay, and then let's think. I'm thinking just so next. Just so, yeah. Let's pop 
to wait and fold up. Move that up here a little bit. Pull these out. Let's, uh, let's get put that underneath here. Let's put it here under there. Grab the gesso. A small brush. Try an easy wash. Let's try this one. Gonna knock back that writing even more. So it's there but not not so readable or in your face. We can paint out a bit of that logo, can't we? Bringing our girls forward nicely. I've got to decide what we'll have to do. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I also need to decide if I'm going to colour the girls in any way. I don't think so. I quite like the way they look right now. So, let's give that a quick dry off. And maybe um, stamps, stencils, doodles. Mm -mm, what do we do? Well, you will find out in just oh, are you okay then? Falling over. <laughs> You'll find out in just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna just pop some butterflies down. I think. Oh, uh, let's see. Pink, purple, purple. 
purple purple I don't really like pink that much so yeah, let's move this gesso out of the way and I'm done with that now I believe sorry that was a bit loud let's go in with the archival dusty concord nice nice and one of those up here. Okay, but the problem is on gesso, it seems to sort of spread. Sort of this out yet, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, da -da -da, flowers. Seems to have lots of bees. <laughs> okay, so nothing in that one. Concord. Not just a Concord, sorry, this is a wilted violet. Go back to the archival. For a minute, and just do this picked raspberry.
see, let's preserve. Fine, okay. Uh, do some teeny, 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 teeny flowers. But I don't think I have any teeny, teeny, teeny ones. Try dusty concord in normal distressing. Oh, yeah, that's not great, is it? Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take that off, give it a bit of a dry. in a bit. So now I think I'm ready 
to cut that into three. Just move that out of the way. Now it doesn't have to be equal. It just needs to be three sections. I would like it to be straight, so I'm going to level it up down at the bottom. You might not be able to see for a minute. Let's move up a little bit. That's as about as far as I can go. And then I'm going to cut that little girl's foot off. But there we go. I think that's about equal pieces, but. As I say, it doesn't have to be equal. No. Let's put this back together. Do, 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 do. Violet. Let's see how that looks on the base card, which I just need to go and grab. So give me a sec. Okay, so here's my card. Yeah, that looks okay to me. So let's see. Let's see if there's a bit of glue that got on the back. See how well this works. Do mixed media straight on top of the sticker paper. Careful not to pull the separate the napkin and the other layers from the actual paper. It's kind of quite a bit funny up there because of the glue. So let's try and peel it around this way. I also think the heat affected it a little bit as well. I could see a little bit of bubbling happening. However, I think it 
worked perfectly fine. And there we go. That's my triptych. Simple, easy, pretty. Uh, do I want to add any more? I really don't think so. Let's pop today's date on it, which is the 4th. Fourth of the night, two thousand nineteen. There we go. Um, I don't even think I'm going to put title on it. I know I haven't quite spaced them evenly, but I'm only human. <laughs> I think that looks really nice. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to see you again soon and please do join in the mixed media morsels fun. I'll leave a link in the description below to Cat Hands video. So thanks very much. See you soon. Bye.